this does not look like Uncle Michael's house. It's like Uncle Michael has parked from you. I am still here. Uncle Michael, what happened? God happened. The TV, the chairs, the cottage, the table, everything. I can see them now. <laughs> and I said God happened through you. Thank you for challenging my feet. How? I don't understand. Jesus, I am not a mistake. I do good works. I have all that makes for life and godliness. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I have all that makes for life and godliness. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Rakabana, a cabano, is an amana, is a dead, is a man, 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 is
Oh, God, I thank you. Thank you for answer to prayers. Thank you for not failing me. Thank you for being so mindful of me. Thank you, Jesus. Just the way I wanted, just the way I asked you. That is what you have done. I am grateful. I am grateful. Take all the glory, take all the honor. Indeed, faith does not fail. Where is this boy? Where is this Sulam? Let him come and see how good you are. Let him come and see that you don't fail. Prayer does not fail. God does not fail. Thank you, Father. Ah. Still here. Uncle Michael, what happened? God happened. The TV, the chairs, the curtains, the table, everything. I can see them now. <laughs> and I said God happened through you. Thank you for challenging my feet. How? I don't understand. Come on, let me tell you. Sula. Yes, sir. You see that day you came here? You weren't actually physically blind. Ha! I knew it now. How could I be blind? After all, I felt everywhere. Nothing. I didn't see anything. How could I be blind? Neither was I insane. I wasn't having gone psych as you thought I had gone. Then what really happened? As long as what you were saying was contradicting what I was believing God for and I was saying to God, you were blind. Men of faith see things twice. They see things first in the spirit before they appear and then in the physical when they have appeared. In the world that we live in, they say seeing is believing. But in the kingdom, in the faith, in the spirit, it is not so. It is believing that is seeing. If you believe God long enough for a thing, you will call that thing forth. And if you call it long enough, you will have what you call forth. If I had condescended to believing that what you were seeing was my reality, I wouldn't have had it. So, because I didn't believe what you were saying, I believe what God was saying. I have what I was asking God for. You see, what you were saying was contradicting my reality. The TV, the chairs, the table, the coffins. So if I believe you, I wouldn't have what I was believing God for. That's how faith works. Ha, um, no. Michael, I really need to have this kind of faith that produces results. I really need to. Look at my house looking so beautiful now. Wow. As soon as I can watch TV anytime I want to. Anytime? Wow. But look, let me tell you something. Faith is a currency with which we buy things from the spiritual market. Faith is the money we spend in the realm of the spirit. The man who has no faith is the most poorest man in the world. If you believe God, you will see what you ask God for. So, you need this faith for the school, for your mom, for your dad, for your siblings, for your health, for your finance, for every area of your life. You need this faith. I must get this faith. After all, it's already working for you. Why don't you work for me? Ah, I need to get this faith. Where's the remote? Let me take charge. Wow. Oh my dear, how it's looking so housey. Let me use that one. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, man. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> <laughs>